Because we didn't have time in the last video, it was kind of getting long, I took the part about file paths and moved it into this video in case you guys were looking for that part in the last video because it wasn't there. Anyways, this is basically our image and in here we specified where the image data was found from which was in the file awesome jpeg. Now if we were to take this image and put it into another folder or another directory we this source right here would not work. What this source right here is doing is it's looking in this directory where which pretty much means that it's in this is looking for where this file is located so youtube.html is in its directory and then awesome.jpg is in another directory within the location of this HTML page so because this is not in that directory with the HTML page and instead it's in another directory which this may sound confusing I'm sorry if it's not something that a lot of you guys are understanding I guess I'm bad at explaining this part but we need to make it so that this is a path into another file so right now we have our image in the same directory but if we were to take this right here and put it into a folder which I already prepared right here we just named it folder we've now moved this image into another directory so if we go into Internet Explorer and refresh our picture isn't going to be there and there's an obvious reason for that which I already explained is that now it's not in the same directory so it can't find the picture so we have our nice little alt text that's being displayed so how do we get around this well you're going to have to learn a little bit of syntax there are three major parts to it I guess well two major parts and one optional part that makes your code look more professional so if you're used to using a terminal or DOS line or whatever you use to do command prompt and terminal stuff you should know about dot dot slash dot 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 slash dot and then slash or directory name which is folder in this case slash and that sort of thing basically what we need to do is say since this is looking in our directory we want it to look in this directory within the directory that we're in so this right here would work perfectly for that it says go into the folder directory and within that look for awesome jpeg now this will work fine and I'll show you just control s refresh and the pictures there that works fine but what you want it, uh, to do to make it look more professional is put a dot slash and now basically what this is doing is the dot represents the directory that we're in the current directory and the slash is saying within our current directory look for this so that's more professional but also another thing to keep in mind if we were to actually open up our computer stuff go into our operating system and then into users sorry this is off screen okay into Kurt and then to desktop we see that our file in is actually visible in here youtube.html so we get that better size for this okay so youtube.html is in here but it's a in a directory which is in a directory within another directory within another directory it's like inception I guess would be a good way to think about it so we can actually link to things outside of our current directory how do you do that just put another dot so this says dot dot slash folder slash awesome jpeg now if we were to save and refresh internet explorer the picture won't be found because it's not looking within this directory within folder to find awesome it's looking in the directory before so it's looking in the Kurt directory and then inside that it's looking for folder and then it's looking for awesome.jpg but it stops at folder because that cannot be found so to keep it looking professional just put a dot slash and then folder awesome however if we wanted to we could also go into this folder 
select new folder sorry you can't see that then say folder 2 and I don't know why new folders in here will get rid of that noob anyways so let's say we want to take this picture and put it in there close that now if we want to do this we just do slash folder 2 save with control s and now if we refresh we get awesome picture right there I guess anyways thank you guys for watching if you have any questions on this or any of my other videos just leave those questions in the comment section below if you like the video like it always helps if you didn't like it dislike it also helps me know about criticism and subscribe if you guys want to see future videos I'll be seeing you guys later, and I hope that you enjoyed this video.